Before the Great Oxygenation Event, Earth's atmosphere was dominated by methane and ammonia, with no free oxygen and a hostile environment for life as we know it. The first life forms on Earth were anaerobic microbes, which thrived in the absence of oxygen and dominated the early oceans. Around 2.7 billion years ago, cyanobacteria evolved, capable of photosynthesis, a process that converts sunlight into energy and produces oxygen as a byproduct. As cyanobacteria proliferated, they began releasing oxygen into the oceans, initiating a slow but significant change in the planet's atmosphere. Over millions of years, oxygen produced by cyanobacteria started saturating the oceans, creating oxygen-rich layers in the water. The oxygen produced by cyanobacteria reacted with dissolved iron in the oceans, forming iron oxide, which precipitated and settled on the ocean floor, creating banded iron formations. These formations are significant geological records of this process, showing the interaction between oxygen and iron over billions of years. After the oceans were saturated, oxygen began to accumulate in the atmosphere, gradually transforming Earth's air composition. The rising oxygen levels posed a significant threat to anaerobic life forms, many of which could not survive in the new conditions. This oxygen crisis led to the decline of many anaerobic organisms and the rise of oxygen-tolerant species, setting the stage for more complex life forms. The availability of oxygen led to the evolution of aerobic respiration, a more efficient way for organisms to produce energy. Oxygen in the upper atmosphere formed ozone, creating an ozone layer that shielded Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. The ozone layer's protection allowed life to thrive on the surface and in shallow waters. Cyanobacteria proliferated, forming large colonies and creating structures known as stromatolites in shallow marine environments. Stromatolites provide a record of early life and its impact on Earth's environment. Over billions of years, atmospheric oxygen levels continued to rise, eventually reaching levels that supported more complex life forms. The increase in oxygen levels had profound effects on Earth's climate, influencing temperature and atmospheric composition. One hypothesis suggests that rising oxygen levels may have triggered a global glaciation event known as Snowball Earth, where the planet was covered in ice. Geological evidence supports the idea of a Snowball Earth event. Earth eventually recovered from this event, with rising temperatures melting the ice and restoring open oceans and warmer climates. Following the Snowball Earth event, atmospheric oxygen levels stabilized, creating conditions suitable for the evolution of complex life. Today, atmospheric oxygen levels have stabilized at around 21%, supporting a diverse range of life forms on Earth. Oxygen levels have played a crucial role in human evolution, influencing our physiology and ability to adapt to different environments. The modern oxygen cycle involves the production of oxygen by plants through photosynthesis and its consumption by animals through respiration, maintaining a balance in the atmosphere. The future of oxygen levels on Earth will depend on our ability to protect and restore ecosystems and mitigate the effects of climate change.